I had the weather machine down there not too long ago, just before the Easter break, and I said I'm not going to show the video while right. you're all on vacation, but they're all back in school <laughs> and they're done with their testing. Let's go ahead and show you the clips here. This was a lot of fun. We, uh, they, uh, we went to the high school auditorium. It holds almost a thousand, and we were almost standing room only there with a lot of uh, friends and parents in the back. It was great. We got things going with the weather balloon. We filled this guy up and explained that this is how we get the weather from way up in the atmosphere, and there's no better way than to learn than get the hands on and check out the big eyes on that guy. Uh, after giving it a toss, we make sure that everybody tries to get their hand on that thing, see how it feels, and that is uh, obviously one of the most memorable experiences that we do. That. Awesome. Uh, but take a look at this. Damon was a very happy guy. He got in there. He was thrilled to do it. We're going to put him in a little bit of fog, and it didn't take long before Damon disappeared. All we saw was his hands, and we explained what clouds are made of, why that happens. Hey, Bella. She felt like dancing. Her and Carter were up there because they read the most weather books in the entire school. So we had them up there talking about some clouds. That was a ton of fun. And we said, why limit it to Carter and Bella? Let's put clouds in everybody's hand. We went around that auditorium and talked about condensation, evaporation, and then it was a bad hair day for this young lady. Yeah. As we turned up the notch, the winds went from 30 to 50, and you could see it didn't wipe the smile off her face. And then Jameson here didn't think we could do a tornado, but we made a believer out of him. And these gentlemen had the most shocking experience of their life as they exchanged oh a little lightning finger to finger. And of course, we didn't leave without having one more bad hair day as we talked about what static electricity can give you a signal if lightning is gonna strike. And you know what? The day we were down there, it was pretty warm, but we made it snow on all those kids down there. I'm telling you, there was a ton of votes that came in from Southwestern Elementary near Jamestown. It was our pleasure to bring the weather machine down there. We're going to fire up the contest again next week. Let's go ahead and get it and show you what's going on. Mother Nature 